I spent 10 days inside Dubai's water crisis, and what I discovered will seriously blow your mind. You see the sparkling towers, the fancy fountains, and the green golf courses. But here's the real deal. Dubai has no rivers, no lakes, and almost no rain. Every drop of fresh water, it comes straight from the sea. That's right, a city in the middle of the desert powered by ocean water. I had to find out how they pull it off, so I went deep inside. What I found was incredible. Massive machines, secret systems, and a non-stop battle to keep millions alive in one of the driest places on Earth. This isn't just about water. It's about human grit, bold ideas, and some hidden secrets most people don't know. Stick around. I'm about to reveal the tech, the methods, and the real price behind one of the most daring survival stories on the planet. To really understand how Dubai pulls off this water miracle, we've got to look at what they're up against. Dubai's smack in the middle of the desert. Hot, dry, and brutal. In summer, it hits 45 degrees C. See you. That's over 110 degrees. Step outside, and boom. It's like opening an oven straight to your face. And rain? Forget it. They get about four inches a year. Some cities get that in a single weekend. If Dubai waited for nature to save them, it'd be game over. With the Middle East drought getting worse every year, survival here isn't easy. But Dubai didn't sit around hoping for rain. They built their own solution. And that's where the real magic starts. Desalination. That's Dubai's secret weapon for water. Think about it. Salty ocean water you can't drink, turned into clean, fresh water you can. That's what Dubai does every single day. And not just a little. We're talking massive scale. Along the coast, giant machines work nonstop, 24-7. These are some of the biggest desalination plants on Earth. They suck in seawater, remove the salt with high-tech methods, like reverse osmosis and something called multi-stage flash. Fancy name, big results. Then boom, out comes fresh water, clean enough to drink, shasour, cook, whatever you need. This is how Dubai keeps millions of taps running, in the middle of a desert. But Dubai doesn't just sit back and wait for nature. Nope. This city makes its own rules. And rule number one, if there's no water, make some. Here's something wild. Over 90% of Dubai's tap water comes straight from the sea, the Persian Gulf. They take salty ocean water and turn it into fresh, clean drinking water. It's all thanks to a powerful method called desalination. Sounds fancy, right? But it works. And it's the secret keeping this desert city alive. I had to see it for myself. So I went straight to the source. The Jebel Ali desalination complex. Biggest in the world. You walk in and boom. Heat hits you. Machines roaring. Air thick with steam. It's like standing inside a giant metal beast. Here's what happens. Water from the Arabian Gulf gets sucked in, cleaned up, then heated like crazy. The steam rises, salt stays behind. And what comes out? Pure, drinkable water. That water ends up in homes, gardens, even those massive hotel pools you see in Dubai. But here's the thing they don't show on the postcards. It takes a huge amount of energy. The heat... The noise, the power, it's non-stop. And all that salt, it doesn't just vanish. It gets dumped back into the sea, super salty and hot. So yeah, Dubai beat the desert. But the price? It's more than just money. It's energy, environment, and a race to keep it all sustainable. Now, here's where things get real. Dubai's way of making water, it's smart, high-tech, but it's not perfect. You see, after they pull the salt out, 
all that extra salty water gets dumped right back into the ocean, and that can mess with sea life. Plus, the energy it takes to run these plants, most of it still comes from fossil fuels. So yeah, it's solving one problem, but adding to another, climate change. But here's the part that gave me hope. During my 10 days there, I started seeing signs, big ones, that change is coming. New desalination plants, they're starting to run on solar power. Some are using cool new tech to save energy, recycle heat, and cut their carbon footprint. Bit by bit, Dubai's working on a better balance, one where they can keep the taps running without hurting the planet. And if they can pull this off, it could be a game changer for the rest of the world, too. Water in Dubai isn't just made, it's protected like treasure. In a place this hot, every drop matters. So how does Dubai make water in the middle of a desert? It's not magic, it's desert survival technology and part of the desert transformation secrets they don't teach in school. They've built a super smart system. Underground tanks, insulated pipes, real-time sensors. All working non-stop to track and protect every drop. It's like a high-tech water bodyguard team. Leaks? Detected instantly. Heat? Pipes keep the water cool. Honestly, it blew my mind. This city doesn't just use water, it guards it. Because when you live in the desert, survival starts with smart solutions. But is it enough? Dubai's growing fast. More people, more lawns, more fountains. And yeah, that means a lot of water. In fact, folks here use twice as much as people in Europe. So I started thinking. With climate getting hotter, sea levels rising, and the global water shortage getting worse, can this system really keep up? To find answers, I looked to Saudi Arabia. And guess what? They're building a giant artificial river pumping water through the desert to bring it to life. It's a wild plan, but maybe it's part of the secret to surviving global water issues and turning deserts green. Back in Dubai, I saw something super cool. How old school wisdom meets cutting edge tech. Desert people have always been clever, collecting dew, digging hidden water tunnels, they call them fallage and watering crops without wasting a drop. And guess what? Dubai still uses those smart secrets, just with a modern twist. I walk through parks where roots get watered right at the bottom. No sprinklers, no waste, just drip systems, smart meters, and desert plants that don't need much water. Even used water? Cleaned, sanitized, and reused for farming, factories, even city greenery. It's one of the best sustainable water solutions I've seen. Low waste, high impact. The real lesson? Sometimes the best solutions come from the past, just upgraded for the future. You know what's cool? Dubai's not just throwing tech at the water problem. They're changing how people think about water. Yep. Even behavior is part of the secret sauce. If you waste water here, big fines. But if you save it, some hotels actually reward you. Pretty neat, right? New buildings? They have to be water efficient now. It's the rule. Because out here in the desert, water isn't just water. It's gold. No joke. Oil used to be the hot stuff. Now? It's every single drop of H2O. So yeah, one of the best desert survival tips? Respect the water, always. Let's be real. Water's running out. Not just in Dubai. From Morocco to Iran, droughts are getting worse. Aquifers are drying up, and more people need water. And here's the kicker. This crisis is spreading. Fast. What Dubai's doing? It might be the blueprint the rest of us need, before it's too late. After 10 days in Dubai, 
Here's what hit me. They don't have it all figured out. But wow, they're trying. Desalination? It buys time. But the real magic? It's in green energy, smart tech, and ancient wisdom working together. And you know what? At the heart of it all is one simple truth. Water is life. When we treat it like gold, we all win. Dubai's story? It's not just about survival. It's about transformation. This city turns sand into a thriving future. Using smart ideas, bold technology, and a deep respect for water. After 10 days exploring how they're tackling the water crisis, I realized something powerful. If they can do it here, in one of the toughest places on earth, then we can all do better. The secret? Big ideas, green solutions, and treating water like the life force it truly is. Because if we don't value it now, the cost later will be much higher. Thanks for watching and coming along on this journey. If you found it valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring stories and eye-opening insights. Here's to smarter choices, a greener future, and a better you. See you in the next video.